Hello, Vlad here from Model Theme. We started this tutorial series where we teach you how to create your own NFT marketplace using only WordPress and our NFT theme as well as the extensions we've developed specifically for this. As a side note, if you like this type of content, do please subscribe to our channel. You can also comment on what you'd like to see next. Back to our NFT marketplace, we started with a clean WordPress installation, we then installed the NFT theme, we imported the demo content, and then we installed the NFT core add-on. So today, we continue setting up the NFT core, setting up a blockchain, and deploying a smart contract. In order to set up a blockchain, we head over to the NFT Marketplace core tab in the sidebar and scroll to the blockchain option. We get the add new network on the left and the list of created ones on the right. Since we're just starting off, there are no existing blockchain networks in the list, so we just have to create one. Head to the name field on the left and um, I will use the name Avalanche Testnet. Yours can be any name you want, just make sure it's descriptive so that you can identify it later. Leave the slug field free, it will be automatically generated when we complete the process. The same goes with the parent item dropdown. The description field is optional, but I do encourage you to use it to tell your future self what you intended to do. You can also use an image to identify the network, which I think is very cool for visual people like myself. Next, we have three fields, symbol, chain ID, and RPC URL. To get these values, we'll uh, have to head over to another website called chainlist.org. Okay, once we're here, we activate the test nets option and then search for the one we will use called Avalanche. As a side note, we chose Avalanche because of the speed, but I do encourage you to read up on the various networks available and make the informed choice. There will be at least a link to an article in the description, but at the rate the crypto, NFT and blockchain landscape is uh, changing, the info might not be up to date when you read it. So it's important to do your own research. Back to our tutorial, the search will show you two results. One is the main network and the other is the testnet. We will use the testnet for this tutorial. So we copy the currency, in our case AVAX, and paste it in the symbol field on our website. Then we have the chain ID, which we copy in our own chain ID field. And for the RPC URL, click on the arrow to open the dropdown, and then choose the address with the lowest latency. Copy the address and paste it into your own RPC URL field. Next, click the Add New Network button and then the network will appear in your list. The next step is to add a contract. So head over into the left sidebar and click on the Manage Contracts option. A page opens with a form on the left and a list of contracts on the right. Since it's the first contract, the list is empty. On the left, you have the first field called Listing Price. This is the field where we input the price we charge for an NFT listing on our website. So if I put in the value 0.001, the users will be charged by the marketplace the sum of 0.001 AVAX for every NFT listed on the website. So the same price is paid to the marketplace owner each time the NFT is sold. So moving on, we now select the blockchain network previously created from the dropdown. In this instance, it's the Avalanche testnet. And then we hit deploy. The website will ask for permissions in your MetaMask wallet in order to be able to act on your behalf. Select the account you want to use. I'll use this one because it already has some cryptocurrency in it. Click next. And then we take a look at the permissions the site requires, such as the address, account balance, the activity, and the most important one, to be able to make transactions. Click on connect. And once the connection is made, we'll continue to make the contract deployment transaction. To do that, we review the transaction details and click on the Confirm button. A prompt will pop up notifying us that the contract has been successfully deployed. The contract will be visible on the website, but it will take a few seconds to be approved we can see in the MetaMask Wallet app that the transaction is being processed. Once the transaction is completed and we see it in the wallet, the site can be used freely. 
you now have a fully functional NFT marketplace where you can list and sell NFTs. The next steps that we will cover in the next videos will be to configure the rest of the add-ons. With them you can add the functionalities that allow you to create NFTs or let users log in with their MetaMask wallet. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers!